Hi guys, uh, this video will be a quick refresher of lesson 6.4 on explicit formulas. So remember that recursive formulas only tell us the next term. So if we want to find a term way out in the sequence, we would have to go one by one by one from the start to the next to the next to the next until we get to that term. That's really slow. Explicit formulas let us jump to any term. So we um, can jump to any term. And to do that, we use the term number. OK, so it was a rule for finding any term in the sequence using its term number. And we came up with an explicit formula for an arithmetic and an explicit formula for a geometric. So here's what they look like. For arithmetic, it was u sub n, so that's any term in the sequence. n represents the term number. Equals u sub 1, which is our first term, plus d, which is our common difference. That's the number we're adding every time, times n minus 1. So if you know the first term and the common difference, you can come up with an explicit formula. Or if you know the explicit formula, you can find the first term and common difference. Um, it was similar for geometric. So again, n is the term number. u sub 1, that was our first term. And this time r, that was our common ratio, where the number we're multiplying by every time. So let me just, I'm going to highlight these pieces. r, u sub 1, and then just the n. OK, so those were our explicit formulas. And then we were kind of doing two things with those. So the first thing is being able to come up with an explicit formula given a sequence. And then the second thing would be using an explicit formula to find a term in the sequence. So over here, we're going to practice writing it. So this is an arithmetic sequence with common difference positive 2, because I'm adding 2 every time, right? So we know that u sub 1 for this sequence is 1. And our common difference equals 2. So I'm just going to plug those in to this formula. So this is going to be 1. This is going to be 2. So our formula is u sub n equals first term plus common difference times n minus 1. So here's the numbers that we plugged in that are particular to the sequence. OK, and that's it. Um, if it was geometric, we would do the same thing just with the common ratio, and we would use this form. All right, so now let's say we've got a formula, and we want to find a term in the sequence. So this is telling us what n is, right? Because n is the term number. So to find that term, u sub 12, I'm going to substitute 12 for n in our formula. So u sub 12 equals 5 times 2 to the 12 minus 1. So here's where I changed n to 12 in the formula. And then we're just going to simplify from there. So that's equal to 5 times 2 to the 11th. Now we need to know what 2 to the 11th is. So that's 2 multiplied by itself 11 times. Two thousand forty-eight, so we get five times two thousand forty-eight. Okay, multiply those together, we get ten thousand two hundred and forty. So there's our twelfth term, and we were able to do that pretty quick um, instead of finding each term from one to twelve individually. All right. That's it for our refresher. Um, go check out the try then check problems and have a great day.